Hey, it's your guy Akeem. I'm here at the e-bike ride. I'm gonna go on a ride a bit later, but I've done this a few times and I'm extremely excited about it. So I decided to have a chat with the guys that came up with the idea. Hi, my name is Robert Fraser. Um, I'm Ashwin John. So first, uh, how did you guys come up with the idea? Well, I was into agriculture and I came out of agriculture and I needed something to do. So I was torn between, well, I had a few ideas, but they were quite expensive. So I was torn between either doing a new type of snow cone business, which was Hawaiian shaped ice okay. or the e-bikes. And I wanted to do the e-bikes on the highway. And this is my best friend, Ashwin, yeah. which is this one of the son of the owner of Splashman's. So I okay, asked okay. him if we could utilize the trails at Splashman's. So we came up, we did a bit of prospecting to see if it was viable and it seemed like a good idea and it seemed, it seemed to be something very new. Yeah, so we went ahead with that. That was definitely a good idea. You guys originally used the trail on this side? So yeah. Actually, yeah. That trail that I, I went yeah, on we, a few times. Yeah, that trail we discovered shortly, but I knew that trail was there because initially we wanted it to be like shaded and very immersive okay, compared okay. to over here, which is a sand pit. But, oh, I understand. Yeah. Both trails give a different type of um, Feel to the bikes. Feel you know? to the bikes and terrain is also very different. True, true. I would like to see the other trail. For yeah. Sure. So <laughs> sure, we should. We we're gonna check out the other trail. But I know that trail is really fun. Yeah. And you get a, a lot of cool shades and stuff like that. Yeah. The, 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 this trail is better for like a nice three to five time. Okay, 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 okay. And like, the place is pretty cool now. Uh, you won't get won't get affected by the sun much. Yeah. So the other trail, the sun the trail is a nice yeah. one right now. The other trail is like if you want to come maybe 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the broad okay, daylight when it's very heat, the, the trail is about 8, 5 to 9 percent shaded and because of that it's very cool. It's like How long does the, does the Rhine Army last? Um, it lasts about an hour to an hour 20 minutes depending on your riding speed. Okay. And if you're even more capable, you can even go up to 50 minutes. Uh, I think, I think minutes. people want not just time, but people yeah. like just being out there. The yeah. length, the distance that it goes is really great. The trail out, <clears> especially <throat> over there, the trail, I feel like it's worth it. Yeah. Especially at the price, $5,000 to one ride, it's like, you know, you could, it's, it's very reasonable. <laughs> it's because extremely you reasonable. You're basically like on your, like you're riding an XR or something, yeah. right? But yeah. a much, a much lower power, you know? Yeah. 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 Like, I did the feasibility, I was like, it's just 5K, it was like, yeah. it's 9 bikes, 5K. And I tried to do the math, so I was like, yep, 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 yeah, but yeah, it's, it's really it's cheap. Quite <laughs> yeah, it's quite competitive, and we wanted it to be affordable to the masses. Even if you're a lower income, you can come and yeah, just pay yeah, like those come. miles and enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's, a prop, it's a proper trail, and it's a new most experience. reviews that we get is and, um, phenomenal. Yeah, I, it's worth I feel it. Like, like at that price range as well, you're not going to just get one time, right? You're going to get people you coming come again. Up. And stuff like that. I have been on the ride twice. This is going to be in my third ride. Yeah. And I do plan on coming on the ride. Well, I was even considering, yo, yeah. could I buy a bike? And I was thinking, yo, what if I get a bike? I start looking into the, the mountain bikes, the more yeah. aggressive, costly, but anyway, close to a million dollars yeah, for a yeah, bike yeah, yeah. And, and stuff. It was crazy. So I was like, this is actually really good. I really love seeing stuff like this. I, I love doing outdoor stuff. Like, this is what I'm about. A lot of outdoor stuff, having fun. I, I do a lot of bleeding and stuff like that. So any opportunity to do outdoor stuff, like at a budget, yeah. at a decent <laughs> price, I normally jump at it. So this is how I was like, I right, cool. I'm gonna I'm put this into like uh, at least a quarterly something. Yeah. I'm gonna hit a ride or something like that, as much as possible. I'm gonna hit a ride. You should try the extended package that we all. I to. wanted to. It's just that a lot of people were like, let me see the trail for us and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. I already knew I wanted to do it. I do have some friends that. From the first time I ride, yeah. I have some friends that were like, yo, we got the extended ride. So what happened is that when you showed me the location of the extended ride, I went back and I showed them because I yep. do have that on video. And I was like, bro, you're going through this process and you know, then I sure them. <laughs> and they're like, yo, we gotta go, we gotta go. But I just jump out. I don't mind yeah. spending and again it's it's really low price. So I don't mind coming and do stuff like that. It's just a get. I like coming out with a a team. I don't want to come and ride by myself. I right. think me coming with four, five to nine persons is would make it more fun for me. I like enjoying things with others. Yeah, it, it makes it more immersive. Yeah, yeah so that, that was kind of it for me. 
I was like, yeah, I would definitely love to have a good amount of people when doing this right. So, yeah, but definitely, definitely, I will incorporate it into my outdoor stuff. You yeah. know, like frequently coming to a ride and stuff. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, so we're on the evening, right? And this trail is a bit more challenging. I'm having a lot of fun on this trail because uh, I like the challenge. I like going through obstacles, little hills and stuff like that. They're telling me that there's another route that is even more challenging. But because it's a bit dark and it's getting darker, we're not going to go that route. But I definitely will check it out. I would recommend the e-bike trail right regardless of whichever trail you're going on for anyone especially if you're a local yo you're a local we hardly get out of town we hardly go on and see the jungle we hardly gonna see any trails why not it's super cheap and for people visiting for people visiting for people that migrate that are coming home just to check out family stuff jump on the e-bike trail right you know it's right at Splashman it's a it's a short drive up to Splashman from Tongue and stuff like that jump on the e-bike trail right check it out it's a ton of fun trust me it's a ton of fun <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> I love this shit <gasps> <laughs> Do we go up there? Sanwa coming around the other side. <laughs> I was like, what? You... <laughs> uh... So, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, come on, give your boy a like. Give your boy a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed for sure. And share it to a friend. Let a friend see what's up. And I'm going to leave links to other videos from other rides, ATV and e-bike, at the end of this video and in the description below. So, catch you in the next video.